While the United States is being distracted by yet another false flag operation in the Middle East, other countries are under their own psychological warfare operations enacted upon them by their own government. It's interesting how the average person doesn't look at what's going on outside their own country as it could never happen to them. We are already divided, very different, which is why the tyrants in charge will bring us globalism as a solution. Everyone's miserable besides the elite. Australia, for instance, is comparable to a prison or at least house arrest. NSW and ICT lockdown restrictions update to Sydney, regional NSW and Canberra rules explained. Lockdown extended for greater Sydney, including a curfew and exercise limit. Outdoor mask rules mandated for the entire state. More retail closes and permit system for authorized worker. The ICT went into a seven day lockdown from 5 p.m. Thursday. Here's the full list of what you can and can't do in NSW on the ICT. From Monday, August 23rd, areas of concern will be under curfew from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. Exercise there will be limited to one hour a day. Face masks will also be mandatory outdoors except when exercising when you leave home across the state. Garden centers, office supply stores, hardware stores, and pet supply stores must close except for click and collect in those areas. Child care workers and disability support workers who live or work the areas of concern must have their first injection by August 30th. Authorized workers who work outside their area can only work if they get their first injection by August 30th or if they are tested. From next Saturday, authorized workers from the areas of concern or those entering to work will also need a permit. Everyone must stay at home unless they have reasonable excuse to leave. They also cannot have visitors in their home from outside their household, including family and friends. People can still have one visitor at one time to fulfill carers' responsibilities or provide care or assistance or for compassionate reasons, including where two people are in a relationship but do not live together. All hospitality venues must be closed to the public, including pubs, restaurants, and cafes, except for takeaway. Every employer across NSW must require their employees to work from home unless it is not reasonably practicable. It is a reasonable excuse to leave your home for work but only if it is not practicable to work from home. This sounds wild. I hope some of my Australian viewers can chime in if this is true. It seems like based on the population of the state, how much control the government has already is, is how far they're pushing it. And Australia, I guess, is back to the prison island. And uh, for those of you that don't know, and to my knowledge, Australia was originally an island where they sent prisoners, I think in the early 1900s, as like an isolation or like a, an exile kind of thing. Uh, so back when all of this nonsense started, the U.S. did a similar thing just by scaring the shit out of people, like you're going to die if you leave your house. Australia is giving $5,000 fines on the spot for breaching these rules. You know, while Aussies are locked in their homes, their students are being held hostage for their HSC, which is a high school credit exam in Australia, to my understanding, their equivalent of the GED, General Education Diploma, in the United States. And this is actually the reason I'm making this video. This is kind of like, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back. Like, this is crazy. New South Wales Health and Education are doing everything to back you in and make sure that you can go safely to your, your HSC exams by October. But what we really need you to do is to go for gold next week. Uh, we have uh, about 24,000 of you um, who can get along to the uh, QDOS Bank Arena next week. Uh, and the way you do that is that uh, there will be a, uh, a link come out to you, there will be, be messages come out to you with a letter that will explain what you are required to do. Um, but what you are required to do is just keep safe, basically. Get along to the QDOS Bank Arena. You can get there by your own car or by public transport. Maybe mum and dad can drop you. If mum or dad or one of your family drop you, make sure they stay outside the arena because we don't want too many people uh, obviously uh, milling around inside the arena. Make some arrangements for after you've got your, uh, your access to that golden opportunity of the vaccination to wait outside for you. And uh, to mums and dads, I just want to say, and to, and to uh, the young people themselves, that if you, uh, if you need to make a call because uh, perhaps there's uh, an issue that you're not quite certain about or that the, uh, the email that comes out to you, you've still got questions, then you can ring 1800 922 um, 886. I'll just repeat that number, 1800 922 886. 
They, this is your big chance to really go for gold and to star next week. Um, you're getting an opportunity that so many others haven't yet managed to achieve, and it's there for you, and it's there for you to really light up your future um, by having your uh, safety and security looked after so you can sit your exams come October. I want to stress that uh, to the mums and dads, your children will be well looked after inside when they arrive. They'll be literally ushered. We'll have uh, nurses, we'll have uh, some of the youth command, we'll have uh, some of the young, young police from the, uh, uh, the various uh, operations within police there just to guide them through um, as to where they go. They'll be looked after every moment inside the, uh, the stadium and uh, they'll be well cared for. So mums and dads feel secure. We've got about 24,000 students we're aiming to get through next week. Uh, the messages will come out this week and the opportunity is there, but really you've got to take it, grasp it with both hands. What's more sinister? that they're targeting students or not allowing their parents inside with their own children. And to even get them there in the first place, they're basically barring students off from being able to participate in society. High school and college are seen as mandatory by most people, especially parents, to make any progress in life. And as soon as exclusion on that level is brought up, people are willing to do things they wouldn't normally do. I mean. Even now with my successful business and YouTube channel, my parents are still telling me to go to... It's, it's insane how ingrained it is in the average person that you need college to be successful, yet the people in charge control those institutions and they're just... You know, it, it would really be interesting to know who actually owns all these colleges and who's pocketing the $50,000 tuitions, but we'll probably never know. Uh, France is being a little more straightforward than that. In his address to the nation on July 12th, Macron said that from August, people would be required to produce health passes to visit cafes, restaurants, shopping centers, hospitals, retirement homes, and social institutions, as well as for long-distance trips on flights, trains, or buses. Though Macron has said that people will need health passes to enter shipping centers from August, a statement by the French health minister Olivier Varane suggests that rules would be different for supermarkets. A recent report by Connections carries a statement by Varane. We are talking about big shopping centers, not supermarkets. They really like mincing their words, huh? Oh, we only meant that you wouldn't be able to go to big supermarkets, the larger one. There are all the other French men and women, the millions of you who have not yet received an injection. Depending on how the situation develops, we will no doubt have to ask ourselves the question of mandatory vaccination for all French people. I am choosing to be confident, and I solemnly call on all our unvaccinated fellow citizens to get vaccinated as soon as possible. So the vaccination will be mandatory for healthcare workers. That was after a consensus with other political forces. They have to do it by September 15th, or they will be at risk of losing their jobs and their salaries. For everyone else, it's not mandatory yet.
But your life will be much more difficult if you don't get a job. That was part of the announcement yesterday by President Macron basically saying we're going to put a restriction on the non-vaccinated people rather than everybody. And so that means that we will use the health pass, which is this app on your phone showing your vaccination status or recent negative test for more uh, socializing areas. Man, these people really need to be lined up in front of a ditch. Not even passive aggressive. They're straight up telling people their lives will be more difficult. We, as the government, are going to make your lives difficult if you don't listen to us. One interesting effect is that almost a million people yesterday booked an appointment for vaccination online after the president's address. So certainly some positive effect there. A million people booking is an interesting effect. You basically put a gun to their heads between this shit and the fear-mongering propaganda for the past two years. But we will see long term what it means, of course, some people criticizing this move by the president. But there's a general consensus among political forces that this is the way forward. <sighs> Hold on, let me repeat that. General consensus among political forces that this is the way forward. <laughs> That's a hilarious fucking way to say that we are part of the new world order and you better listen to us. Oh, God. How obvious does it have to be that this is not about you know what? This is simply how much fake bullshit can the government make up to control people's lives? How easily is the average person willing to listen and how far do they have to go? Now, we know the game is already rigged. They already have a huge advantage. They have secrets about life that if the average person had it would be a much more even playing field and that's the opposite of what they want so they need to take everything if they have 99.9% .9 of the planet in their control they want 99.999 they want 100% they don't want any chance of anyone outside of them having a chance so that's really it I mean we talked about the social credit system we've been talking about this stuff maybe I'll talk about Canada next week uh, but uh, you know since they control the media and all social media platforms it seems like we as the silent majority aren't the majority but go figure uh, so thank you guys for joining me today if you could please drop a like on the video leave a comment down below subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos therefore you can go to frank-stefano.com to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.